Welcome to the course Manufacturing Processes 1. Let's talk about unit number 5 sheet metal working. In this video we will discuss about one more important concept scrap strip layout. There has been questions asked in previous university examinations. The type of questions asked are write a short note on scrap strip layout for six marks and another way the same question has been asked in other words like what is strip layout and explain with proper sketch we will see one more example of based on strip layout concept so what is basically strip layout see here for blanking in designing parts to be blanked from a strip material it is very important to achieve economical strip utilization. At least 75% utilization has to be there and rest of the amount we can see as scrap. So to make manufacturing processes affordable, we need to ensure maximum utilization. So basically we try to calculate how much amount of scrap is getting generated out of total strip, strip area and how much percentage of material is being used to create the blanks and rest of the surrounding material goes as a scrap. Thus, locating the parts for maximum economy must be accomplished by trying various configurations. We can see here in a rectangular strip this type of blanks if we want to create we can mount the such type of blanks in this way or in this orientation as well. So, just by changing and trying various configurations of layouts, locating the blanks in different ways, we can achieve maximum utilization and we can try to reduce the percentage of scrap as well. Okay. Herein there are few basic important concepts which we, terminologies which we need to know is T stands for thickness of the material, W stands for width of the stock, B stands for space between the part to be blanked and edge of the stock and C is the lead of die which constitutes B plus the length required for progressing ahead to create another blank. So this is important to be known as far as space between blank and the edge of the part is concerned or edge of the stock is concerned it has to be minimum 1.5 times the thickness so here thickness comes in picture let's see an example here a rectangular stock has been given and wherein we are supposed to draw this type of rectangular blanks of size 10 by 20 so calculate scrap and strip utilization in percentage for a rectangular blank to be produced from a strip width of 25 millimeters. The total width of the given blank, sorry, given strip and thickness is 1 millimeter. So we have been given length of the blank 10 millimeter height of the blank 20 millimeters width of strip total width of the raw material strip 25 millimeters and thickness is 1 millimeter we know the thumb rule the thumb rule says that b which is nothing but the space between part and edge of the stock so space between part or blank and edge of the stock has to be minimum 1.5 times the thickness. So 1.5 multiplied by thickness 1 millimeter gives us 1.5 millimeters. C the lead has to be length of the blank plus which is nothing but 10 millimeters plus the lead ahead. So it, it comes around length is 10 lead is 1.5 so it comes around 11.5 and at a distance from here at a distance 11.5 millimeters we can create another blank and then at the same distance we can create third blank this way we can create a layout which will give us 
maximum utilization more number of blanks will be we will be able to cut without damaging the strip so as far as total area of the blank number of blanks we can achieve here and the area of the number of uh, total area of the strip which has been given if we try to calculate the area of blank would be length into height length is 10 height is 20 so per blank you have 200 millimeter square area whereas although the total length of the strip is not being given we are more concerned about how much amount of area we need on the strip to progress ahead by creating one blank at a time so minimum to create one blank we need c into w total width has been given about 25 millimeters and c we calculated lid we calculated as 11.5 millimeters which covers the length of the blank as well plus b so it comes around 287.5 millimeters square so if we compare these two areas area of the blank whereas the total area required to create one single blank we will get about 69.6% utilization of the total strip area whereas rest of the part about 30% 30.4% we are losing as a scrap so this is how with this layout we will be able to predict the percentage utilization and percentage scrap for this type of layout if you change the orientations if you change the combinations keeping the thumbs, thumb rules for lid and the distance between blank and the cutting a blank and the strip edge follow these rules for calculating b and c and try different combinations of layout you will get different utilizations percentage utilizations and percentage scrap the one layout which gives us maximum utilization and minimum scrap will be more appropriate Thank you for watching this video. See you again.